Hey y'all, welcome back to another recipe. So today I am cooking up some delicious, cheesy, baked spaghetti of all time. You guys, this is my favorite baked spaghetti recipe ever. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Also, if you're new here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss out on my cooking recipes. Without further ado, let's, let's make it. All right, to get started, I am starting with the spaghetti. I am going to boil it. I'm pretty sure all of you guys already know how to boil some spaghetti, but still, I am going to show you guys how to do it. But this time, I am just going to boil my spaghetti in plain water, add some salt to it once that comes to a boil, and just add your spaghetti in there. I'm using about half of a packet I don't know if that makes any sense but I'm not using the whole packet in a skillet I'll be adding about two tablespoon of unsalted butter once that is nice and melted I'll be adding about one teaspoon of minced garlic okay we're going to cook that until it's nice and fragrant or until it's giving you a like a golden ish color and then we're going in with our chopped Onion. This is very optional in my opinion. If you don't want to add onions, do not add it. But I just love the flavor of onion, so I'm going in with about a quarter cup of chopped onion. Once my onion is nice and translucent, I am going in with some Italian sausages. I'm adding three of them in there. Now these are mild, okay? You can use the hot one, the spicy one, or you can use regular one. So I wanted some kick to this, so I added mild sausage. Now I'm using my spoon to break it down until it gives you like a ground beef texture. So that's what we don't. Now once I'm done breaking it down just like that and about two minutes later, this is what it looks like, okay? Now I am going to add my sauce in there. You can use spaghetti sauce, okay? But I couldn't find spaghetti sauce. I found something much better. So this one has meat in it, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, I'll put the name, the exact name of the one that I used down below because it made this baked spaghetti like 10 times better so i'll leave that name below for you guys check that out of course the measurement will be down below now i just added some chicken broth you can add beef broth but i like to use chicken broth i added about a cup and then i am going to let that simmer down okay I am going to add my seasoning. My seasonings are pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of chicken bouillon, and as well as some Italian seasoning, okay? That's all I added to this. I did not add anything else. And let me tell you, this sauce alone is delicious, okay? 
just add that in there just like this and i added some basil i forgot to tell you guys i added basil as well now this is what our sauce look like it looks so good right now but it's not done yet okay now moving on by now of course your spaghetti is done i'm sure you guys know how to cook spaghetti like i said i do not need to show you guys all of that but this is what we're going to mix the spaghetti with this right here is cream cheese yes you heard me with parmesan cheese and also i added well i am going to add some sour cream as well hmm yes you guys there's a trick to all of these together when you combine them ugh, it's just heaven in your mouth okay just add that in there and then i'll be adding some mozzarella cheese okay some very creamy mozzarella cheese in there and make sure all of your cheese are not great value i don't know but the taste is different when you're using name brand products okay so this is what it looks like now i am going to add my spaghetti to it just like that just add, add it in there of course it's done cooking and we're going to mix the cheese together with the spaghetti and of course you can add as much as you want there's no particular measurement because i know a lot of people like cheese and I know a lot of people doesn't like cheese, so feel free to add however much you want in there. Once that is nice and well mixed together, we're going to move on to the baking session, okay? Now, I am using a glass baking dish to bake this. I am going to take my sauce, okay? I am going to take my sauce, pour a little bit at the bottom, like you're doing a lasagna, but not, not really. It doesn't matter however you place this it's still gonna come out bomb it's still gonna come out delicious so I'm just adding a little sauce at the bottom just like that next I'll be adding my spaghetti to it it's nice and cheesy and wet and juicy and creamy just add that in there just like this and then we're going to pour that delicious sauce on there oh my gosh All right, now it's time for me to add the sauce right there, just like that. Just pour it all over that spaghetti. All right, now I am just going to fix it, make sure the sausages are all over the spaghetti and then I'll be adding the cheese to it I'm using two kinds of cheese for this recipe I'm using um, yellow cheddar sharp cheddar also I'll be using some mozzarella because I just love mozzarella so you can use whatever cheese you want but these are the two that I really love together so I'm placing them on top of it now it's time for me to add the mozzarella. And 
like I said, you can add as much cheese as possible, as much as you want. This is what it looks like, very cheesy. We're going to bake this covered <laughs> with a foil for about 10 minutes first. And then I'll take it out and bake it for another 10 minutes uncovered, okay? This is what it looks like about 10 minutes later it's already nice and cheesy Ooh, hoo, hoo. now we're going to place it back in the oven for another 10 minutes all right and this is what you have all right okay and when i tell you this right here this recipe is a must try you've got to try this you have to when I said you have to, you have to. If you're a pasta, a cheesy type of person like I am, this recipe, mm, it's bomb.com. It's creamy, it's cheesy, and it's saucy at the same time. It's one of my favorite baked pasta recipe. And I made this for a friend who was pregnant, honey. She loved it, she loved it. And this is it guys, let me know what you think about this recipe. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and of course give this video a thumbs up for me because that helps me a lot guys. We almost at 70K, oh my goodness, I cannot believe it, but we're almost there, look at that. Look, this is a close up for y'all. It's so cheesy on top. But yeah guys, this is it. I'm watching this, my mouth is watering right now, but this is it, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and I'll see you guys on my next one, bye.